What's going on guys and welcome back to Hacker in the Shop. And in this video, I wanna help you guys troubleshoot a problem that you might run into or if you've already ran into it already. Uh, I actually had a customer call me yesterday with this very issue. He uh, had a dent in an aluminum truck that he was having a really hard time trying to pull. So I had him send me over a picture and the dent was kind of, it was a baseball sized dent, a little distorted, but in the center of it, it had some creases from the impact. So he was having a hard time with it. He was struggling getting it out. So uh, the first thing I did is I walked through the 6C process because the 6C process is going to reveal the problem every single time. So I started out with clean and I asked him, hey, did you clean your panel? Did you clean your tab with isopropyl alcohol? And he's like, yeah, I cleaned my tab. I cleaned everything. Everything was good to go. And I was like, all right, now did you check your temps? How was your temps when you uh, started pulling? He's like, well, I heated up my panel to 120 degrees, got rid of all the humidity and moisture, and I even flashed my tap. I was like, well, great. So now we know that those issues were not the problem. So then we moved into the third C, which is choose. And that's kind of where we ran into the problem. Because I asked him, what tab did you start the repair with? He said, well, I started with the uh, dead center crease tab because of those, uh, the, the crease inside of that dent. I wanted to kind of go after that first. So we grabbed a crease tab, something like this right here. And he went ahead and he was trying to correct those creases. Well, the problem with that is it's not necessarily the wrong tab, but it's just the wrong tab at the wrong time. So that metal is locked in there. So basically what you want to do is you want to kind of reverse that damage. So what went in first, you kind of want to repair it last. So we're just going to reverse that damage. And I can honestly see why he ran into that situation and thought, yes, go ahead and correct that first because transitioning from stud welding into glue polling, it's it's same concept, we're removing dents, but with stud polling, you kind of just grind the paint away and you just, you know, keep your fingers crossed and hope the dent comes out and you don't warp it or uh, what we like to call tin can it. <clears throat> but with uh, glue polling, we're able to adhere tabs to it and watch the metal move. So it's a lot easier to see your metal move. It's a lot easier to understand how metal moves. So basically what I told him was go ahead and start with a tab with good surface area. That way we can get the majority of that damage out. Then after we get the majority of the damage out, we can come back in with those finishing tabs. So the idea is here is that that metal is locked up. So basically what we want to do, put a larger tab on it, because never be afraid to put a larger, if you're having a hard time pulling a dent and it just doesn't want to come out, don't be afraid to put a larger tab on it with more surface area just to get the majority of that dent out, then come back in with your finishing tabs. And that can even be a centipede, depending on the, the type of dent, the shape of the dent. So needless to say, he messaged me back and said, hey, thank you so much for that tip. I was able to get that dent out, correct them lows after I got the majority of the dent out, and then move it on the paint, and then on to the next one. So guys, I hope this helps. And always remember, if you have a stubborn dent, don't be afraid to oversize your tab. That uh, surface area is going to help you get the majority of that damage out so you can get in there and correct them lows. So guys, uh, shoot me a message if you have any questions or uh, any problems with any repair you're working on and I'll be more than happy to help you out the best that I can. Take it easy guys.